why do doctor's offices always ask you to fill out forms before your visit? Today, I'll share with you three insights about this tedious task. Let me start with a short story. My dad told me he used to go to doctor's offices, grumble about filling out yet another form and wonder why it wasn't easier then put a straight line through the boxes, ignore some of the questions, and then anxiously await for his appointment. He now runs our practice, and guess what? We ask our patients to fill out forms. But why is this? First, the information we ask for on the forms helps us take care of you. It makes the limited time we spend together in the clinic more valuable. We can quickly scan through the basic information and hone into your problem more efficiently. And by the way, the medications you take, including the drugs you may not want to talk about, are important for us to know. It's important to know what you do for a living. We want to understand what you need to be able to do. We also want to know what your hobbies and interests are so we can understand what you would like to be able to do. Second, the best outcomes in medicine are patient reported outcomes. Validated questionnaires asking you, for example, if you have pain while standing or if you are able to take care of yourself, help us know how you are doing more accurately. Third is for insurance authorization and coverage. I want to give you an example to illustrate this particular need. It's like applying to obtain a mortgage for a home. I'm a neurosurgeon. I know I can afford the mortgage I am currently asking for. It's a little like, I'm a neurosurgeon. I know, for example, you require surgery. The reality is that's not good enough. The financial institution paying for my home needs to do their due diligence process. The insurance company paying for your care also does due diligence. We must submit all the information or they will deny paying for it. You should know the most common reason we have difficulty in getting authorization for surgery is when prior non-surgical therapy is poorly documented. For example, we really do need to know if you worked with a physical therapist, the number of sessions, the duration and timing, and the outcome. Not documenting even the use of ibuprofen has at times made the difference between obtaining authorization and being denied and seeing surgery be delayed. So please help us help you. We fill out lots of forms too. We are definitely in this together. I also want you to know that we are working towards making the information easier to compile and share with all those who need it. Quicken Loans and Rocket Mortgage figured out ways to help people purchase a home more efficiently. You're probably already in pain and it's painful enough to add forms to the mix and we are working to make the process less painful in an effort to help you get better and get your life back. 